There we go. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Ant coming to you live here from my home here in Dallas, Texas. I just wanted to kind of come over here on this uh, great Tuesday afternoon and uh, just share some tips. I think something that I really could believe that can help you guys out. So, hey, but as you're coming on in, feel free. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Even if you're watching the recording, let me know. I love to just be able to see, like, man, people getting to watch from here or there. I just love being able to see that. Share this with your family and friends as well. I believe it's going to be a great message for everybody, and I believe it can help everybody out in their life uh, just by, you know, pretty much watching this little, watching this energy in your life uh, and paying attention to it. Hey, but as you're coming on in, feel free to let me know where you're tuning in from. Hey, Miss Dorothy. Welcome, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna get kicked off here. Today's topic is your energy is very important. Your energy is important, you guys. I just want you to know your energy, your personal energy is very important. And I, I want to share some tips here. All right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and get kicked off here. Like always, you guys. I love to start off with a question. So my question for you is something you can ask yourself. This. And uh, you can actually, I had a great friend of mine was on a coaching call last night with uh, one of my business partners. And uh, she, you know, she shared something to me, but it really caught my caught my attention because her energy is so positive, you guys. I believe anybody would want to work with her just because she's so, so, she got this energy that you just want to be around. But the question is, what is your energy like? Sit down and ask yourself. <laughs> and when you ask yourself that question, ask yourself this. Would I hang out with me? Would I do business with a person like myself? You know, would I would I play, you know, would I love to be on the team with that type of person? You know, you get those kind of those kind of questions, ask yourself that. Because your en- your energy that you have is very contagious. And it also could be a positive or a negative for you in your life. And we're going to talk a little bit about that here now. So, like I mentioned, it could be a positive or a negative. See, your energy that you're putting out, it could be positive energy. You could be speaking life. You could be that type of co-worker that everybody wants to be around. Or you could be that type of co-worker that nobody wants to work with you. Nobody, nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to do business with you. Nobody wants to be on your team. Are you that type of person? Or are you that type of person where everybody wants you on your team just because you're in Everybody wants to be around you because you're like the life of the party. Everybody wants to work with you because they love your energy. Man, I can work with him. I can do business with him. I can play with him on, on the team. I can run with him on my team. You know, think about that. And we see that in all different aspects of life. I mean, I know some professional football players that you can tell that some players don't even want to play with. But then also you got those players and teammates that everybody wants to be around. And so what type of culture are you putting out there, you guys? And and, and don't get me wrong, it's up to you. It's your choice. Just like everything in life is your choice. But I want to know, I want to I want to help you out. I want to help you out with this because if you just want to barely get by, you want to just get by in life, fine. You can have that that mediocre mentality, that mediocre energy. That negative energy, you could probably still just get on by with it. But if you want to have that championship in your life, whatever endeavor it is in your life, well, you're going to have to bring some positive energy around. Because that's the only way you're going to attract positive people. Because why? Because it's contagious. And that's what people want to be around. So to build a championship team, to build a championship type of business, to build a championship type of basketball team or Bring that type of mentality into your job, into your workplace. Guess what? It, guess who it starts with? It starts with you. Because I promise you, even though everybody else around you is negative, if you keep bringing that positive energy every single day, eventually it's going to rub off, you guys. And so I just wanted to kind of come on here and I want you to check yourself. You know, these are the tips I got for you, tips I got for you to to increase the positive energy in your life and to help you reach those goals and dreams. But tip number one would be is to check yourself. See, quit looking for somebody else to be hard on you. Quit looking for somebody else to tell you what to do. Check yourself. Ask yourself those type of questions we asked at the beginning. Hey, would I work with me? 
Would I do business with me? Would I want to hang out? Because I promise you this. Nobody wants to be around that negative, life-sucking person that complains about life all the time, that the world sucks, that you all that negative energy. Nobody wants to be around that. But people do love being around people that got a vision for themselves, that want to go somewhere. They may not be where they are, where they want to be right now, but if they got that vision, they got that mentality, people love being around that. Why? Because that's uplifted. Life already happens. The negative things, we got enough of that. Trust me, you want to see a lot of negative energy, just watch the news every day. Matter of fact, watch it three times a day. Eventually, all you, you'll notice, all you see is negative things, negative energy. Is that what you want in your life, or do you want positive? Do you want those friends that, that are pushing to go somewhere? They want more out of life. So check yourself. Quit looking for somebody. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself those type of questions. Then after you check yourself and you realize what's going, reevaluate what you can change in your life. Reevaluate it. Think about it. Man, you know what? Instead of me turning on the news all the time, I can, you know, I can pick up a book, a little small book, and just, just read it. This is a little book I'm reading right here, John C. Maxwell, Leadership One-on-One. And I, I always use this bookmark. It's some good friends of mine that got married a long time ago. But that that was the way that they uh pretty much shared with their baby shower. They gave out bookmark. Great idea because I use it all the time. Uh but and it just also showed me goals in life. But but reevaluate you guys. Reevaluate what you can and cannot change. Reevaluate, boom. Then after you reevaluate, start feeding the mind. That'll be the next tip. I only got three tips here for you guys. But I just wanted to share those with you. One, check yourself. Ask yourself, are you being po- are you putting out positive things or are you putting out negative things? Because that's where that's how your business and everything is gonna grow. That's how people are gonna want to do with you, deal with you. That's how you're gonna start building that championship mentality. Reevaluate. You gotta check once you check yourself, you gotta reevaluate what you can and cannot change. Then tip number three is feed your mind. You got to feed your mind with positivity. Life happens in all to everybody. Nobody's exempt from life. That's just how it is. You're going to have flat tires. The engine might mess up. You know, people are going to pass away, unfortunately. Um, you know, you're going to have friends that walk out on you. You're going to have people that not don't support you. You're going to have these type of things, you guys. But what has helped me stay positive even when those type of things happen? Feed my mind, listening to great things, getting on coaching calls with other great leaders, being around people, spending more time with positive people, influence, influential people, you know, and my life changed. And it's still changing, you guys, for the better. It's for the better. Um, and so those are the three tips. I just wanted to kind of come on here and share with you guys real quick. Um, I hope everybody's having a blessed Tuesday. Hope you are pushing towards your goals and dreams. Even though you may or may not be at work, push towards the goals and dreams. Push towards them, you guys. Stay positive. Eliminate the negativity. Stay away from negative people, actually. You know, if they negative, then stay away from them. If you wouldn't trade lives with that person, then stay away from them. Facts. Don't listen, you know, quit letting these negative people tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't let nobody who gave up on their goals and dreams tell you what you can and cannot do. Hey, you can go as far as you want in this world. You can become whatever you want. That's the great thing about it. But it's up to you. It's up to you to put that positive energy out there and make a difference, you guys. Hey, that's all I got. Peace out. I'll see y'all tomorrow.